happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, Father Rice Sampton, model number YKM03. This is an AM FM stereo weather band version digital portable radio. I say that because they have a shortwave only version as well. Pretty cool radio. Uh, this cost $14.99 minus a coupon, bringing the price down to $12.74. Definitely recommend this because it's an awesome deal. Uh, you get quite a bit for your $12. Bucks. <laughs> if it's $15, it's still a buy in my book. I think it's pretty neat. So let's take a look at it. Free band radio receiver. I did review the shortwave one, so if you want to search it, uh, I'll try to have it in the iCard section up above and the link below to the radio uh, so you can check that out as well. So on the back is some specs here, and you can see the, of course, weather band coverage is all seven channels. Shortwave coverage on the uh, shortwave radio is 3 megahertz to 21.85, not 121, just 21. They put a 1 there by mistake. <laughs> so there you are. Take everything out of the box, show what you get. So we get the star of the show, the Rice Sempton weather band version. Awesome. You also get a pair of really cheap headphones. Yeah. You can bling it out, kind of sparkle as you walk around with them. Uh, these weigh nothing. I probably won't use these, but there you get those for free. You also get a manual, which I'm not going to really show too much, just the parameters, because this thing is a gigantic piece of paper. And to be honest with you, it's a pretty simple radio. I'll go over everything. And if you need anything, just email me or message me in the comment below, and I'll help you set your radio if you have any issues. But there you go, your range is pretty set up, done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right to the radio. So we'll get rid of that. Just gonna zoom it on down, right on down there. Cool, yeah, it's nice pocket sized. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going for this radio, I like it. Uh, so dimension wise, we're four and a half inches in length, we're two and three quarter inches in height, and then we have a depth of one and one quarter inch. So for size comparison, I always have my favorites around here. I'll bring this back up. I have my CC Pocket, which is also a weather radio, AM, FM, stereo, weather, beautiful. This is weather alert. This does not have alert, which I wish it did, but for 12 bucks, I'm not gonna complain. I can still tune in my weather band if the sirens start going or the weather turns south and you wanna have something handy, this is great. The clock is easier to read than that one. <laughs> gotta love it. So there's the yeah, CC Pocket. So it's not much bigger than the CC Pocket. That's great. All right, cool. And then, of course, uh, I always bring out the Skywave here. Old standby. So it's smaller than the Skywave. Nice. Uh, if we do any frequency checking, we don't have to because it's digital, which is fantastic. All right, set that aside. And, of course, we don't have those two radios. We have a deck of cards. Oh, who's that guy? Iron Man. <laughs> He's the Rice Sampton man. He loves little weather band radios in each hand. He's Iron Man. Rocking it out from radios from China land. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just being dumb. But it's fun. <laughs> it's my enjoyment. Rock on. There goes Iron Man. All right, cool. So, Rice Sampton. We're going to have to zoom it back down and go for features of the weather band version of the YKM03. Because I think that... Model number is the same on the shortwave as well. So, left hand side, nothing. Simple plastics, but it's put together pretty well. I don't see any issue. There's no sharp edges to cut you. That's important for an inexpensive radio. <laughs> Rice Hampton in white. Our speaker here is 50 millimeters or 2 inches. Our display is nice. It is amber backlit. Let me show you if I can get that to light up by hitting the button. There we go. Yeah, it's nice from the side there. Um, you get a nice clear display. It's 24 hour or 12 hour clock. You can set it to each or or, so it's nice. Either or. And then you got your battery level indicator. Cool. So buttons are pretty simple. Power, on off, lock switch, volume up and down. Uh, over here we have three favorites, which is awesome. So on AM band you get three, on FM band you get three. Uh, you also get more presets, which we'll mention in a second. But it's nice to have these quick three favorites right away. Uh, we have a, set the alarm, set the time, 
You have a delete function for deleting presets, but there's no way to manually add presets. You can only auto scan presets, which is kind of a bummer, but at least you have the ability to delete. We have a dedicated sleep function button, which is pretty basic to use. And over here we have uh, memory up and memory down for the auto scanned presets that found. You go up and down there, and if you don't like anything, just delete it. That's kind of nice. Of course, scan, press and hold that, it'll scan the AM or FM band and save the presets. Now, you get 35 presets per band, plus these three, so you get a total of 76, which is nice. Um, but the thing is, is that, like, on FM, <laughs> I'll get up to, like, 99.9 .9 FM, and then I'm full. This thing is so good on FM. So it fills up right up, and then, yeah. If you want anything higher, you have to add them to your favorites there. So, just to let you know. Of course, band button switches AM, FM. Right hand side, we got the incremental tuning, which is nice. We have a DC input, which I think that's also really cool to have. Um, three volts, you just get the right barrel fitting. Um, that's nice if you're going to run this radio all the time. Some people like to have weather radio always going. Uh, there's our headphone jack. Headphone experience is really pleasing. It's a really nice radio to listen to. Um, slight low level hiss, barely noticeable. Um, FM stereo. So if you have strong FM uh, stations nearby, you'll get FM stereo. I noticed that only on my strong locals. Uh, faint stations, not so much. But uh, not bad. FM stereo sounds fantastic. Um, expect moderate lows, strong mids, and bright highs, uh, depending on the headphones you use. But typically that's about right. When you plug in your headphones, it acts as the antenna. So you can put the antenna down and put this in your pocket. Beautiful. It's so simple technology, but a lot of radio companies forget to do that. It's a simple wire attachment. So yeah, you plug it in, it disengages a telescopic whip, and your headphones become the antenna. Beautiful, beautiful thing. We're listening to AM and weather band. It's a pleasing neutral tone. Good for talk radio. Fantastic. So, yeah. This radio is awesome. So we're going to talk about FM reception, and then we'll go ahead and turn it on and demo it, and then we'll go through the bands. So uh, FM reception report. I always like to talk about the FM reception. I take it upstairs, usually about the same time every day. I check for tropospheric ducting and... Uh, e-skipping to make sure nothing is happening in that accord. And if it is, uh, I try to uh, skip that day and do it on a day that's not affecting the FM band. So uh, I tested this radio and it got 75 stations, which is a good to very good rating. I started as fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. So a good to very good rating is well above average. Finding 75 stations is amazing. So sensitivity is great. Selectivity though, I give it a two and a half star rating, an okay to good rating. There's a problem with this radio on FM band. As you tune it, uh, if there's a strong station next to a different station, you'll get distortion. And it's not a big deal to fix. You'll have to tune it back down or back up. I don't notice that when I'm using the presets, only when I'm manually tuning. So keep that in mind. If you're manually tuning the radio and you get distortion on a strong station, there's nothing wrong with the radio. Just go up one and back down. If I could show you that today in this video, hopefully uh, you'll get to see that in action. But it's a simple thing to take care of. Not a big deal. It's a $12 radio. Remember, it still rocks. 12 bucks. <laughs> if it's 15 bucks, it's still a good deal. I like it. Um, so there's the FM reception report. Um, uh, so yeah, and then I'll show up. What I want to do really quick, though, is show you. Do we have a carry strap? Awesome. Forgot to mention other things. The, the top and the back side. A uh, so FM antenna is uh, 16 and 3 quarter inches. And when you pull it up, it swivels. Beautiful. Like in that. And the back here. You know, people are like, whoa, you forgot to talk about the back. There's your information, frequency, uh, weather band coverage. Uh, here we have a little kickstand. Uh, it's pretty tight fitting. So I can't get it out. There you go. Cool. Stands. Beautiful. Look at that. Stands pretty good, too. It doesn't want to fall. It doesn't... Yeah, not too bad. Liking it. And the antenna's weighted over here, so that's even better. Put that back in there. And, of course, we have two AA batteries lined up like that. Now, it would have been cool if they were, like, on the bottom like that, and then we'd have a bigger kick-out stand. Uh, but that's just something maybe in the future they think about because I think that takes up too much space, stacking them like that. But maybe they didn't have enough room for all their digital stuff and their buttons. This is really tight fitting here. That's good though. This is gonna click in rather loud once I get this in. There we go. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right, so we're gonna turn it on. I did also wanna mention 
when you plug in your headphones, this is a problem. So it's too loud at 20. So you gotta turn your volume down. Then you plug in your headphones. And what happens is the volume shoots all the way up to 24 or 25. So you hear the volume difference? So I'll go down and then I'll plug in the headphones and right away it shoots it up there. So when you plug in your headphones, don't put them in your ears first. Don't leave them out. Turn the volume back down because it resets the volume to 25 for some reason when you plug the headphones in. So just want to mention that. All right, cool. Yeah, that is important. Don't want to hurt your ears. Okay, let's turn this up. This is 97.7. This is uh, Radio Todd local, <laughs> within a few feet. Um, here's the FM transmitter I'm using. Secrete FM transmitter 2. I know they have a 3. It's pretty similar to the 2. Um, and it's hooked up to it. You can see a little transmitter thing there. Hook up to a MP3 player transmitting royalty free YouTube music. Awesome. Okay. Cool. And if I could show you the MP3 player, I'm going to. The way you get to see. There you go. Cool. Let's turn it up. person it's bright audio it's not like ear piercing and it's pleasing still which is nice um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the FM transmitter and unplug my power source here so we don't have any buzzing on the AM band when we go to do that so now we're gonna do some band scans yeah it's pretty cool um, this thing is awesome on weather bands so we're gonna go ahead and do that first now I am downstairs in a subfloor basement so I got a little wire I'm gonna hook up to the antenna mast it's like a 12 foot wire going to my window um, on the inside. So I'm just going to clip that there. And we're going to switch to the weather band. So AM band, showing the frequency and our band we're on. We'll go ahead and go to the weather band. As you can see, channel 5. We'll go ahead and turn it up. Northwest suburbs, including Woodstock, Libertyville, and El 
Fulgen, 24 hours a day, on a frequency of 162.500 MHz, from our transmitter in Crystal Lake, Illinois. This station will also broadcast severe weather events for McHenry, Lake, Cook, Boone and Kane counties in Illinois, as well as Walworth and Kenosha counties in Wisconsin. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Romeoville, Illinois. Visit us on the web at weather. So, yeah, this uh, is really well above average. Um, I found about six stations, which is well above average. Um, fantastic little weather radio. I should be able to pick up three or four down here. Let's see. Yep, there's one. Turn this up. Waves one to three feet building to chance of precipitation 70%. That's three. There's four. In the afternoon. Five. Point five zero zero. Six. Visit us on the web at weather.gov. Fly in Chicago. South through Kenosha thunderstorms. Building to two to four feet. Lows in the lower sixty foot. Friday. Not bad. Southwest winds ten to Just fifteen. That, channel six is kind of. Slight chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and But there you go. Yeah, it gets quite a bit, and it's fantastic. Like, again, no weather alert, but at least you can turn it on and get your weather, which is awesome. And if you're one of those people who like to record, you got the headphone out, so you can hook it to a recorder or a microphone it. So, cool. All right. I'm going to leave that on. So we're actually going to go FM band scan. Yeah, FM. All right, so hit the button here. We have a transmitter off. This should be dead frequency. You always use an open frequency when using FM transmitters. It don't bug anybody or your neighbors. Um, so we have these quick promises to reform precepts. the monarchy and the military. Jonathan Head reports. Sounds pretty good. The debates good. have so far been dominated by another... Can't have rhyme music, but yeah, these are quick. These are really nice. A succession of... Forward's proposal we have the to amend the controversial Les Majesty scan. Law, which imposes so time 35, fill them up. This Friday, uh, we will be up there, and that retreat begins. It begins Friday evening, it runs through Saturday, it closes Sunday with the Mass, and on Saturday. <laughs> Between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary RSF. Fighting has been going on for so I will sing this is how I think. In the sky by York Bowen on music for the night. More piano music coming up from the composer credited with inventing. PR comes from NPR stations. Other contributors include Heather Sturt Haga and Paul. It was at this time that he went off to the mountain to pray and he spent the whole night in blog post. Microsoft said an outfit called Storm Zero Five.
There was a distortion. Picking up a lot of stations, real faint ones. Picking up something here, even. So yeah, that's that distortion sound. If you, if you hear it, just, like I say, tune up or tune down one and go back to this same frequency. so it doesn't play too long um because then yeah youtube's like we don't like that <laughs> so this is cool this is a local station so we'll just go ahead and plug in the headphones so you can see it should say stereo there we go i just gotta cover those up but yeah there you go stereo nice so then we unplug it and it's gonna it's gonna go ahead and the volume's gonna go back up Sunshine, a few clouds with a thunderstorm in spots, a high of 84. Cool. Coming up, local politicians want. God is great. Bear is good. Yeah, jamming out here. Oh, I like Santa. Man, don't have time for the AM, but that's okay. <laughs> this radio is mainly FM weather band most of the time. AM, you, you can get lucky at night. During the day, it's good for locals, semi locals on AM. Okay, so you get the Versus idea. Endorsing a belief may be less awesome. important than how sources arrived at those. And I think, yeah, but yeah, I can't really. But if I just show you this, watch this. If I just touch it in there, it should give me a little reception. Where did it hug? Okay. If there are three people walking together, one of them could be my. That's how I was able to tell that the headphones were acting as the antenna as well. Pretty nice. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and go to the AM band. Fun times. So I'm going to go uh, to the bottom of the band here. We'll just see what we can pick up. Um, like I said, in the evening, it probably wakes up a little bit. It is slow acting. AGC, automatic gain control. Uses internal antenna, of course, if you're right. Here's 540. WUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Goes low power. About 70 miles, 400 watts to the north. Turn it this way, no reception. There you go. I can't find that place necessarily, but then again, I don't see anything either where he has energized the electorate. Now look, any other year. Here's 560 WIND Chicago. Local. There's a very good chance that Ron DeSantis is your runaway nominee, but the challenge that he has. I should tell you the time. It's early morning, 2:12 a.m. 
uh, Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. I usually say it in the beginning, but now you know, <laughs> if you're wondering. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going. Turn it up for the faint stations. Not picking up much. Didn't expect to. Let's see if we can get some stronger stations. That's Milwaukee, WTMJ. 52 miles away. And it's at night, it's always really tough to get. That we have that talk. On every time. Right? What they are doing. And I'll say this right now. Again, slow acting. Just wait and it'll come into tune. As long as you're pointing the right way. This is WMFN, Pieto, Illinois. 75 miles, 1600 watts. It's getting louder and louder. This is WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. 434 miles, barely coming in. May not be a great night for that. Okay, let's go some locals. How great you're in the clubhouse. I hope you'll be the worst guy in the clubhouse. And when you go to the field, you're the best player on the field. That's all I care. Ozzy, you understand White Sox fans as, as well as anybody in town does. Right now, if the beginning of... So here's 670, uh, the score, WCR, Chicago, home of the Cubs. And by the end of the month, they've traded five or six guys, and it's clear that they're headed toward a rebuild. So here's 700, WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio. Waiting for it to come in. We just wait. It's getting louder. Top tech to power any fashion. Save on select XPS PCs and WGN. more powered by the latest Intel Core processors. Plus, get savings on Zuma Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario. 460 miles to the northeast. Conditions could improve. Nice. Here's a 750 to BSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles to the southeast. Getting louder as I wait. So you just gotta give it some time. Here's WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles to the east. Here's WABC, New York, New York, 750 miles yes, to the northeast. Sunny High 82. I'm Aki Weather Meteorologist Carl Babinski. It's 16 minutes past the hour. WBBM, Chicago. Time for WBBM Sports. White Sox closer Liam Hendricks, who had battled cancer, received the Jimmy V Award at last night's ESPYs. Nice. Yeah, I'm just manually tuning this. Oh, E10 picks, picking up something. E10 is WGY, Albany, New York, 740 miles. Just can't hover because Coast to Coast is playing, and yeah, that's always fun. Here's uh, 830 WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles to the west. H, uh, WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, and, uh, and coast to coast. Was... Here's a uh, KOA, Denver, Colorado. Um, 890 miles. Coast to coast is playing as well. You can just make it out. It's there, but barely. If I bring a loop up, it would definitely help. But uh, if you just wait and see, the conditions improve. What else we got? Okay, 870 is coming in. Really quiet. Let's see if they can improve. This is 870 WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana. It's 865 miles to the south. So this radio can do it. Just 
needs help. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're almost done here. I'm just going to zip up to the band here. See if we can't find something up here. It's a little longer range. People who don't necessarily agree with the idea of some of the agenda of the more radical so, version. 1020 KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's 450 miles away. That's not bad. It's a good find. Nice. Coming in clear. was very clear in saying he would protect. I've been thrown up on. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. All they need to do is change it back. All right, we'll go ahead and just turn it off here. Oops, I locked it. <laughs> Quick press off. There we go. So, yeah, not bad, Rice Hampton. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yes, it gets an upvote for me for 12 bucks. I can deal with a little bit of distortion in the FM band, just going back and forth. Not a big deal. Um, loving the display here, nice and clear. Um, everything about this radio is fun. It's weather band's great. Um, just expect a, an awesome experience. And get the shortwave one if you want the shortwave instead of weather band. I mean, it's totally cool. It's it's fun to mess around with shortwave as well. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like. You guys are the best. Uh, two, um, if you like Rice Hampton radios, want to see more on inexpensive radios, I think this is like a Yorick make, you know, Y-O-R-E-K. Uh, just subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of these inexpensive radios. And three, comment below what you think about the Rice Hampton, uh, the weather band version. Would you pick it up or would you pick up the shortwave one or do you have both like I do? Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you in my next video.